Hello, everybody. Hopefully, you enjoyed Bleach Thousand Year Blood War Episode 7. I had a lot of fun with it. We got a bit of action, but we also got some backstory. We're getting to that point again where the action needs to end, and we need to find out about what is actually going on here. So it started out with the original 13 court guard captains, which are described as ruthless killers. They're really killing people in not so merry way. I guess if I was in a war, I would kill or do whatever I have to do to survive. So, But they seem to really enjoy it. They, they had some fun with it. Anyways, it left a mound of bodies back in the day, so a thousand years ago. And this is the final scene. And of course, Yamamoto won in the very end. And uh, when I thought about last week, when I said last week, I was like, maybe he lives through this. Maybe somehow he finds a way out of it. And you know what? He doesn't do that at all. He gets sliced diagonally and drops to the ground. And I'm like, oh, ooh, this reminded me of Saw movies and all that with all those people getting chopped in half. That was pretty brutal. But you know what? He was still able to use his arm, grab onto Yuobach and tried to stop him. You know, you got to try one last bit and it didn't work in the end, obviously. So Yuobach was telling him, you know, by the way, you guys are a bunch of weaklings now. Back in the day, you used to be ruthless killers. And then over time, as everything happens, you get peaceful times, you fall in love, you have not a real need to battle and keep up that strength. So these guys all turn soft. And because of that, they are getting beaten up. They got beaten up pretty bad. If you think about it, Kenpachi got, didn't get beat up by Yuovak. He got beat up by, you know, just a regular Stern Ritter. And then we have, you know, we had Yamamoto that blew everything on, again, a Stern Ritter. And then Yuovak just absolutely destroys him. And I know... He, he lost his Bankai and everything, and he used up his power, but it didn't seem like it mattered. Like, his 13-court uh, guard got destroyed, and he's getting beat up as well, and killed eventually. So I, I think I agree with him on that. Even this scene where you have the Soldat, they called out the Soldat to destroy the rest of Soul Society, and the, the some of the uh, Soul Society, I guess, soldiers, troop, court, whatever, the, the normal people thought they could take at least these guys. They're like, you know what? We can take them. Unfortunately for them, they were completely wrong. The Soldat was even stronger than them. So the underlings are stronger. You know, the Stern Ritters are stronger. The leader dude is stronger. I mean, they they were just getting beat up. There's no way they could win this battle. And as you see here, they got stabbed. They got hit with arrows. Some guy got his head cut off, but I didn't want to put that one in there. And then we have Ichigo that's watching all this in his little jail. And because of that, he just starts yelling and stabbing, and he eventually breaks out of the jail. Now, when we get to this guy, it was funny to me because, you know what, this, we have Stern Ritter Shaz Domino, and he is trying to say that what his power was, and he didn't get to finish it. He got uh, killed, and it was weird because you could see from the shot that he got like a, a rock, glass, whatever, in his glasses, which is weird because... I think he would want to take that out of there. <laughs> but anyways, as always, we have one of these shots. I love these action shots from Bleach where they have all the different cuts of people. That I remember that from Naruto and all those other animes that have done it in the past where you know, see all of their view or all their faces in shock or horror or happiness. And we got that with Soul Society captains as well. Uh, it begs the question to me, I know Hiyori is not a captain, but where is she? I miss her. I love that girl. thought she was a lot of fun. But uh, there are a bunch of people that are missing. I would love to see her. I hope she's not dead. That's the only reason why I put this here, because I love her, and please don't be dead. They need some training. So, anyways, back to this. So, Ichigo comes in, uh, kills Shaz Domino. I, I mean, I assume he's dead, or beat up pretty badly, but uh, we have... Ichigo making a pit stop. He goes off to see uh, his friend Byakuya and then uh, just just have a little chat before, you know, ultimately we know that he is going to meet his end. So Ichigo gets pissed off, powers up, of course, and uh, he's ready to fight, even though he's a horrible mess to begin with. He's bleeding already. Reminds me of Sandman. If anybody's ever watched ECW, that's the guy that would uh, come in with a Singapore cane and drink some beer. 
He'd be like one of the only guys that I can remember. I mean, there's probably uh, there's wrestlers everywhere um, on the indies, so maybe there's someone that did that. But he would smash his drink the beer and then smash the can against his head. So uh, sometimes he would be coming into the ring already bloody before the match. So uh, same thing with Ichigo here. He's already bleeding, but uh, at least he's fired up. And so uh, we have Yuabak who is about to leave and Ichigo throws his sword down. So it means business. It's pretty cool to see actually. It's like, ooh, we know we're in for a fight. And then um, as this is all happening, we have Byakuya, he, uh, he dies, I assume so anyways, his, his sword uh, splinters, breaks apart, goes away, I guess that's a sign of death, but anyways, Ichigo fired up, he, he, he shed a little tear, and now he's ready to fight, so he, he's gonna do what he has to here, get the job done, and this is when you know it means business, when you got two light beams fighting each other, which <laughs> I always love that. I always love seeing the different light beams. I'm like, do you get to pick your color? I want to be a purple one. If I had the, a light beam shooting out of me, I think that would be pretty cool. Anyways, as you can see, I, I hit a, I had to take this a few times to just get some shots. And we got them floating through the air, attacking each other. And uh, we have Yuobak behind Ichigo. So you can tell right away, Ichigo's not ready for this. He's probably going to get beat up pretty badly. And uh, that's what happens. He gets chucked to the ground and stabbed. Stabbed right in the neck. This is, uh, I thought he was going to lose his head and somehow like reattach it, but that's not what happened. That's not what happened at all. So <laughs> what we have here is Blut Vein. So somehow he picked it up. I was like, man, did he uh, absorb some molecules or learn some new abilities when he was fighting in Waco Mundo? But that really wasn't the case either. I, I left. <laughs> this reminded me of all those other times where, you know, if Bleach was a comedy, like pure on comedy, uh, you know, like when someone got shot in the vest, they're like, oh my God, I'm alive. You know, something like that. I was like, this reminded me of uh, Rush Hour. If you've ever seen Rush Hour 2, I believe this one is, where Chris Tucker gets shot in the chest. But uh, Ben, good old Ben, saves his life. So with... with since it acted like a bulletproof vest in a way. But anyways, they're at a casino. He won a bunch of money. And then uh, he got saved. He got saved by Benjamins. It was pretty cool. <laughs> anyways, I felt like that was Ichigo. If this is comedy, he'd be like grabbing his neck and be like, thank God I'm alive. Uh, but there was an explanation on why this actually happened. Yuabak was kind enough to tell him that while he was in that jail, basically he was slamming that thing and all these little particles... Uh, went into his body spiritual pressure uh, went back into his body and because of that it drew out them quincy memories that were inside of him you know it, it awoke something inside of him kind of like how he became a soul reaper right uh, it woke something in inside of his body and the the thing there is what do you mean that it woke something in his body his quinciness and you know what he is actually a Quincy because that jail can't hold Quincy's and he was didn't know but his mom actually was apparently a Quincy I didn't know that either hey hey so he's a, a Quincy and a soul reaper even better so it reminded me of the time where I went and met Maury I don't know if anybody's watched Maury it was it's a good time I actually went there during my honeymoon it was crazy I know you're thinking about this but Yes, I did go see Maury. Yes, I did drag my wife to Maury during my honeymoon. Everybody had a good laugh when I told them about that. But you know what? I went. It was a lot of fun. I got like a DNA test one and I got a lie detector episode. I had two episodes. It was pretty awesome. It's a cool experience. Uh, so this reminded me of Yuabak when he was telling Ichigo that, uh, hey, by the way, you're Quincy. So yes, Ichigo, Kurosaki, Ichigo. You are a Quincy. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's that's brutal. That's not brutal. I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, you could can you imagine like uh, all this time on Bleach, right? He's been gaining more and more stuff, right? He has hollow powers. He's got uh, that X stuff. He got Soul Reaper. Now we add a Quincy. He's going to be like shooting, shooting a sword everywhere. That's what it was gonna, he's going to be shooting stuff everywhere. So it's going to be pretty neat to see that. So you're telling me. He can use this one day, this claw crest. He can use all that other cool Quincy stuff, and uh, maybe uh, Yoshida will be his friend now uh, because, you know, he's a Quincy too. We, we're all Quincy's. 
So I, maybe this is the start of a new generation because he's a Quincy Soul Reaper, right? He's like a in between. To me, he'll be like the new. I can't imagine Ichigo wanting to be like number one over both places. That'd be weird. I don't know if he wants to do that. I think he just wants to hang out at his house. I don't know what he does in his free time anymore, right? He used to be a student. So what does he do now? Not really sure. I guess he just saves the world. Anyways, they use this uh, special thingy on him where it shoots a bunch of arrows at him. So obviously he breaks through. But unfortunately, all these rocks that start touching to his body, his blue vein kicks in. And then uh, he's laying on the ground about to get... Uh, murderized but you know in a way Aizen actually saved him which is pretty cool so Aizen mind mind I was gonna say mind fuck but I guess I'll say it anyway it's too bad I'll just say it <laughs> I didn't want to swear I'm sorry but he mind fucked him yeah he doesn't know that time is ending and all that I didn't know that's his power works that way I thought you had to see a sword or something but I forget every I forget a little bit about Aizen but I thought it was the swords so, uh, anyways, he messed with his mind. This guy thought he had more time, but his time is up. I put this picture of this girl, Stern Ritter, because she looked really cute. Even though she's murdering people in Soul Society, you know, like she got a heart belt buckle, if you check that out. Her hat's a little bit off to the side. You know, she, she looked really cool. So I added her in there. I mean, I need some girls. I was talking about Hiyori earlier. Now we got this girl. So, pretty cool. Anyways, Ichigo, in the very end, he has to get up. Because you know what? You can't let him go. You can't portal out of here. Uh, I got I got business to settle with you all. You're not leaving. And uh, this guy, Hashi Wato, uh, he, uh, he wasn't just for show. I thought all this time, you know, like he's the assistant dude. You know, he can't... I know he'd be strong, but you would think it's like Ichigo versus uh, final boss guy. And that's where it would be. But, you know, no, no, Ashivalto is pretty strong. This is like the Grim Joe of back in the day. So it seems like Ichigo's got a lot of training to do. I mean, I don't know if Soul Society has a hyperbolic time chamber, but everybody needs it right now. Whoever's left alive, they need to hop in one soon because they don't have a lot of time to prepare, I think. I can't imagine that, let's say, a week, a month, or whatever is going to make any sort of difference in terms of power level against these guys so that's pretty sad so anyways they portal out because they had a limited amount of time and we get this stunned ichigo i mean this reminds me of back in the day right it's uh all those other ones even like the vegetas back then or let's say krillins that you know you're just like crap uh, that didn't work out, so we got to think of something else. I can't imagine what Soul Society does after this. This is pretty awful. So I'm not sure if this is going to be like, uh, next episode's going to be a bunch of backstory. It says, Born in the Dark. So I wonder if it's just a bunch of backstory, or we're just going to see them pick up the town, or the whole world? Soul Society world, I guess. Uh, they're going to need to fix all of that because it's all messed up right now. So we'll see which one we get. I'm hoping that I get, we just see the aftermath of Soul Society and then it goes in the backstory. Because I'm not really ready to... I, I want to know what who's left alive, right? Maybe he or he. Okay, anyways, it was a lot of fun. Let me know what you thought about it. As always, have fun. Be happy. Don't spend anything. I'll tell you, but you have a good one.